Alter Police Brigade of the National Guard in California from 1992 from the LA riots. Um, there's two types of SUV you're going to be seen in many of those photos. You got the M69 slash the Pulse College Fest you're going to be having the pass here. pass it off as an NIJ 3A. I wouldn't trust it like that. You're better off getting an NIJ 3A vest, but approximately. I'm not liable for any stupidity. All right. Now, you might say, oh, which one is better in a riot control situation? Well, depending on what you're facing up against. If you're being shot at more, like I said earlier, it's going to be the passing. But if you're going up against the rioters face to face and they have bricks and sticks and all that fun stuff, it might actually be the M69. The reason I say this is... Right here you see the M69. As you see how this right here you can see it. Enhance. You see how this comes in like that? Over approximately your breastbone. Remember that. That's a port for CPR. And you see why in 69 went with Velcro. All right. So, here you got approximately both. You have the front, you have the left side, or my, my left, my right side, and they kind of get doing this. So you got a little more protection right here. I've smacked uh, myself using a ashwood baton while wearing this. I could say this absorbs more of the impact better than the basket does because thin Kevlar, a little thicker than this in places. There's not really any stiffeners in here, so you can make a debate regarding that. And with both of these on, which I did try 
they basically act as a really good cushion. So, if we can get this zoomed out for you folks. God, I need a cameraman, lads. Don't. There we go, lads. I'm sorry about that little technical difficulty. All right. Here we are, National Guard Dependent One. All I need to get is the baton holder. That'll be pretty good. I hate the LC2, I believe is what they call this. I hate it. I like the quick release. Some people make a point about the quick release. I don't care. It, this sucks. There you go. Most of the time, Believe it or not, they were wearing their web gear over the M69 flak vest. Or three-fourths vest, as you might call them, actually. It, in the LA-92 photos, in some of the Vietnam era photos, um, you're seeing it underneath it, believe it or not. Which is interesting. But this is apparently how they did it, going, we're going to treat it like a basket vest. So, I'm going to put helmet on, which is... The, the nice real casket and not basically a white lightweight helmet variant. As you see, we got it like this. Got a lot better protection here around the neck. I like to call it turtling. Got the recovery, got pretty good protection. Of course, it's not exactly as great as Kevlar, but it will work. So you have this. There we go. This is only in process. Just showing it out to you folks what it looks like for those that are curious. And hopefully I give a ton holder soon. And also regarding this holster, this is a M12 holster. This is the more accurate one. This was for an M9 Beretta. Um, when I originally had corrected myself in the previous 92 National Guard unit impression video, I said originally 1911 was issued and in some cases still in use. And then I corrected in the little subtitles. No, that was not true. I was right the first time. There are several photos of National Guardsmen with 1911s holstered on their waist with even leather holsters. So. Now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to show you the pastor. We're going to talk about that, buddy. Ah, the pastor. It's my classic vest, as you might say. Much lighter in my compared to the N69, less restrictive, and it vents better. Of course, it's a little bigger on me, but I do not care. The Pasket is much better for preventing heat stress. It breathes better. Of this thing, it traps in heat. And uh, it sucks ass inside as well. We're wearing it. So there's probably a good reason in it, like wearing them in Vietnam. I have a lot of respect for the people wearing it out in L.A. Now if I can get this unstuck. Now you have a lot of folks wearing it like this, with a pasket vest. You see? Much nicer. This is a lot more comfortable. But it's not exactly going to be softening blows. It's thin enough material where it's not going to be doing much. It's not really meant for padding. It's meant to stop it. You see thin around the neck, which isn't very helpful in a right situation. Great for shrapnel. Helps slow down 
stuff, you know. But it's absorbing as well as going to the M69 3 fourths vest. Now, we take a comparison. My honest opinion, it really depends on what you're doing. If you're up with the people, up there watching stuff, dealing with riders firsthand, it's probably going to be the M69 vest. Honest opinion. It's much thicker, it's very absorbing impacts. And I only say that for objects being thrown or swung at you. I'm not talking about fast moving objects, I'm talking about ones being thrown at you or swung at you. As it's thicker, it helps. I mean, shout out, more shrapnel, it's gonna be passing. It's much better. And then you're gonna wanna pull your pasky vest over. folks make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content and stay tuned as i am going to be making the la 92 impression as a 49 mp brigade